Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTech. Have you ever been in this situation where you are receiving this kind of error on your Microsoft Outlook? The file that you are trying to open is not an Outlook data file. So basically I'm trying to open a PST file on my Outlook but actually seems like the PST file it is corrupted. In this video I will walk you through the steps how to recover a corrupted PST file or Outlook file by using a tool which is called Stellar Outlook Repair. I will walk you through steps how to download it and install it and how to use this tool. I think it will be quite useful for some of you that are having these kind of issues with your Outlook PST files. Let's start right away. So basically how you can download, you can just come on the official website stellarinfo.com. I'll put the link on the description so you can come directly on the main page of stellarinfo.com where you can download the Outlook PST file recovery tool to repair corrupted PST files. With this tool, you can recover all the mailbox items, including emails, attachments, contacts, calendars, notes, etc. etc. So here there are some top use cases when to use Outlook file recovery. Here are different kind of errors that you may receive. For example, in my case, I'm receiving this third case need to fix Outlook errors, which is this one, for example, or you may have typical problem like this one, Outlook data file corruption. There are many cases where you may need to use this software. Let's go ahead, just click free download and then you start testing. I have already downloaded and in order to start using, you just run it like a normal application and then once you start it, this is the tab that you will see, list configured profiles. The app will identify and list all available Outlook profiles. This process will take up to a few minutes to list profiles and can be stopped in between. Do you want to list the profiles automatically? This is one of the options. So you just click over list profiles and it will show you all the Outlook profiles that you have in your PC. Then you can start the process of recovering those PSD files, which could be corrupted. In my case, I have an external PST file that I want to recover or to repair and for that I choose manually so by clicking choose manually then I browse to the location where I have this data file in this case is this one learntech.pst file which I have from my Outlook I have put it here so I can recover so we click over open and then we click over repair and this will start repairing the Outlook files that are in this PST file. It will take some time, but always remember that it depends on the size of the PST file. In my case, I think it's quite big, so it will take some time to recover all the emails that are on this PST file. Another thing that you have to keep it in your mind that this doesn't recover only the emails, but also the attachments, uh, deleted emails, contacts, calendar, and all these details that are related with your Outlook PST file. So here it is, as you can see here on the left, you will start seeing the emails showing over there and the file have been totally repaired. So we click over OK now and you can walk through and see all the contacts or emails that have been repaired by using Stellar Repair for Outlook. So here also the calendar which has been repaired. You can walk through and see all the emails that have been repaired. Yeah, here is, for example, one email that I have here, another one is here also. You can see that it's a lot of emails that have been repaired by using the Stellar Repair. You have some options to view, so the log report you can see, you can switch also the reading pane, also you have some tools and activation, which is in this case, if you are using a free edition of Stellar Repair, you can activate it. Basically, it's quite simple, you don't have to do a lot of things, it's quite easy to repair and to recover those emails by using Stellar Repair. Once you are done, you click over save repaired file and then if your Outlook is running, you will not be able to do so. So basically it asks you to close the Outlook. So I'm gonna just close my Outlook and then you click over OK and you try it again. So here save as you have many different possibilities. Normally I will just save on PST and then I can import this Outlook PST file on my Outlook application. So I'm just gonna keep the default. You have information about this options here. What does that mean? Save as PST and whatsoever. I'll put the link on the description so you can play around and check what exactly means 
each one of these options. You do want to recover the deleted items, in this case I'm not interested, so I'm just going to click over OK and then saving maze of folders will start. So basically that's all that you have to do in order to recover a corrupted PST file. Then you can import that on your Outlook application or wherever you want, but now the emails have been recovered properly. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you liked this video and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.